All right, so what's poppin' YouTube? Second Fire Nigo here. Welcome uh, to a Pokemon X and Y Y Five Bet match, of course. And uh, this is a battle versus my guy named Damien. Now, this team that I made, I, I I guess it looks good in some eyes, but to me, I don't know. It was just random. I honestly didn't have like any type of expectations going into this like battle with this team, because to me it was like complete another ass. I was just like fucking. I was just grabbing some stuff, and it actually did really. It actually did really well. Like it ended the battle like really quick. But it was like, I just felt like it could have been done a lot better, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, basically, what he's going to do is he's going to send out his Terrakion. And his Terrakion, he told me after this battle, his Terrakion had taunt. He thought I was going to go for the um for the Stealth Frogs, but I didn't. I ended up going for the Earthquake right away because I do outspeed Terrakion because I have Choice Scarf on this thing and not anything else. So I do end up taking out Terrakion, and that's right off the bat the first kill of the game. So he sends out his um Porygon 2, and I'm afraid of a... um. I mean, it's Porygon Z, and I'm afraid of an Ice Beam, so I'm just like, no, I'm not about that life at all. Let's send it to Swampert, and Swampert's gonna do what he has to do to do what he has to do. You feel me? So he's gonna send out predicting my switch into something else. I don't know what he was trying to predict, but he sends out his Talonflame, and uh, Talonflame comes in. I, I think I go for the Waterfall after this. I'm pretty not sure, but no, he goes for the U-turn right here, and I mean, I'm gonna eat it up regardless. Like as you can see, I ate it up already. It doesn't do anything at all. But I mean, I mean, from the health, it does kind of like it did a little bit. Like it did like 30. 30 20 percent of his health i don't i didn't even not even not even not even like little small milli, like milli, like miller percentages and shit but anyway um i went for the waterfall predicting him to stay in go for the brave bird or whatever but he ended up going for the azumarill and uh the azumarill switch and i'm just like fuck me so basically what he can do to me is a lot of shit so i i, I am going for the stealth frogs because i wasn't sure if he was um either nexus's assault vest set or the stealth Fro or me or the um or the belly drum azumarill or just the regular overrated azumarill and I was like, nah, it's not about that life at all. So what I did is I went for the um I think I went I think I went for Roar right here. Just to get like them out of the way. Cause I knew he's gonna go for the belly drum right here. And of course he's gonna activate his sister's berry. I was like, I don't really need this around. I really don't need this. Cause he's gonna basically just kill Swamper and anything to come out come out of the uh, come out of the team. Cause I don't have any like Pokemon that can actually take this thing on really well. So I ended up going for the Roar right here. And um just to be sure, trying to get like Talon Flame and Charizard out. So I could, uh, so I could basically just lure him into the uh, stone trap, and I mean, so like, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like uh, people are so used to like Talon Flame being a thing, so it's like you know, you always have a rock set up. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, he's gonna go for the Brave Bird right here, and of course, I'm just gonna, I'm just, me personally, I'm just gonna eat it up, and then I'm just like, yes, eating it up right here. And uh, I think what I do is, I think what I do is, I go for the roar again because I was thinking that he was gonna switch out, but he ends up actually not switching out. And uh, he actually ends up staying in. Now, this is where it gets real crazy because the guard chomp comes in. And I'm just like, oh no, whoa, guard chomp is too strong. And I ended up, um, I think I ended up dying right here because he goes for the earthquake right here. And I thought I could, I thought I could, um, could roar him out and survive it, but I don't eventually. I, I really don't. I really don't survive it at all. And as you can see, he's going to kill the swamper right here. And I'm just like, no, no. So I was my Aegis Slash right here. This is the weakness policy Aegis Slash. I keep using this thing. I'm sorry. I understand if you guys feel like, oh, Nick, you stop using this thing. It's so overpowered. No, it's not. Look, you could have died right here. And it ends up not dying. It ends up with like at least a clean 10% of his health. Or is it 10, 15, 11, 12? I don't know. I really don't know. But the weakness policy I did is I go for the Shadow Bar right here. And of course, it's going to kill the Guard Chomp coming in. I'm just like, yes, I'm about to get this sweep. Because not only do I have the stones, his, um, his, uh, his Ravy, his Ravy, I mean, uh, his Talonflame and his Charizard have to come in on rocks. I don't even know if he has any defoggers or anything, but here comes his, uh, here comes his Azumarill. And he goes for the Belly Drum right here. He goes for the Belly Drum right here. And I'm thinking to myself, you don't even have more than, like, any HP left. So why would you go for that? But at the same time, I could have went for the King Shield. And I could have gotten an attack lower by two. And then it would have just not been good on his part, period. Had he died. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, it's not good anyway. So here comes the Porygon 2 right here. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter to me anymore. He's gonna outspeed uh, the Age of Slash, of course, and I'm just like, I really don't care. Sacred Sword is gonna happen anyway. I really, 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 really don't care. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, you care. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yeah, you care, whatever. And I'm going for the Thunderbolt right here, and it's gonna end up taking out the Age of Slash. And I'm just like, whatever, whatever. I still got like three or four more Pokemon left over. I'm like, okay, cool. I gotta play it safe because now him and his son are uh, are crazy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So. With that being said, I sent a Sharkisha, Sharkisha, run for the dashy, Sharkisha! And then he's a Mega Evolve right here, and I think with the Swords Dance, I actually should have, um, should have, uh, I should have, uh, like, Thunder Punch touch shit, like, fuck it, ah! But, <laughs> but as you can see, I'm gonna Mega Evolve right here, I'm gonna go for the, uh, Swords Dance, and then Swords Dance, of course, is going to raise up my attack. Now, I was thinking to myself that he was gonna go for, um, 
He was gonna go over like some shit like uh like uh what's that one? What's that one place called? What's that one place called? I forgot what one place is called. This is one place called um the was it the Jordan? No 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 not the Jordan. It's Giordano's. And I was like, yo, <laughs> I was gonna go there. But anyway, um, what was I talking? What was I talking about? But anyway, what the fuck was I talking about? It does not even matter. He goes for the dragon dance right here, and I was predicting a um an attack, but he actually doesn't go for whatever I thought he was gonna go for. So I go for the sucker punch right here, and I think I thought this is what I thought. I thought it was able gonna be. I thought it wasn't gonna be able to take him out, but it actually does take him out. And he does send out his Tunnel Flame. Tunnel Flame comes out on the rocks and is gonna kill it right here. And then if I remember correctly, his um his uh what's the last pokemon on this team what is the last pokemon on this team at that point i really don't know it's porygon 2 porygon 2 comes out i'm already plus what i'm already plus one 1.5 on the swords dance so all i gotta do is go for the play rough and it's dead he goes for the um for the try attack i'm guessing he was like if i'm going down i'm gonna try to get like a pair of hacks or something like that or like a freeze hacks or whatever or like a burn but it doesn't matter anyway because the poor guns is gonna go down it's gonna end the game off right there so if you guys enjoyed the video which i highly doubt you did i mean like the last two seconds are like me speaking gibberish but give me a thumbs up outro music below in the description below and everything else in the everything else is below just look at the description music and all that outro bye the relationship we had was a blessing i've been cast out of heaven got a nigga thinking about the damn past and the present i'm in love with her lies and her thighs how i get up in skies every time i'm in her eyes hazy haven't heard from you wonder what you've been up to lately next time i see you i swear that be the greatest show damn i'm so impatient yo that time we was killing just kissing that was sensational now my thoughts are racing yo don't know what to do with myself and when i get on what will i do with my wealth say fuck it i'm going straight for the kill till a nigga just have a deal then we out there on tour fucking each and every whore nobody will ever know i'm going straight for the gold now fuck that i want the platinum hoes want the magnum expressing all my feelings, this is coming straight from within Hoping that all the thoughts I had